Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. The time has come to start a fresh new sketchbook. The first page can be the most exciting yet the most intimidating, but it doesn't have to be so scary after all. In this video, I'll share some tips on how to start your sketchbook, and I'll also show you guys what I decided to paint on this beautiful fresh inside cover. I am so excited to start a new sketchbook, and I'm even more excited to try out a new brand. For my next one, I will be using the sketchbook by Etcher. I was sort of craving a larger scale sketchbook, and I've been doing some research on different types of paper. I was really looking for something with really high grade thick paper that will take watercolor and paint. And one of my patrons actually recommended this brand, and Etcher was so kind to send me a few of these and I'm so excited to try out their sketchbook and I was really drawn to the fact that it has 100% cotton watercolor paper and I just feel like I may have found another brand that may be the one. Thanks Etcher and also thanks to my awesome patrons for our great conversations of suggestions. Oh, and speaking of Patreon, I'm so excited to announce that I have launched a new tier where you can get exclusive sticker and postcard deliveries. Spots are limited, so be sure to click the link in the description so you can grab yours. So we've got our new crisp, fresh sketchbook, and suddenly there may be pressure on what to begin drawing inside. I've got good news on how to relieve that, and it's really so simple and it just involves changing the mind and perspective. Simply choosing a topic that you love can change everything. The way you choose to work and create in your sketchbook is totally up to you. Remember that there are no rules, so whether you decide to make more loose or more finished drawings and paintings in your sketchbook, that's totally perfect. The sketchbook is your place and you can do what you wish. I personally love designing the inside cover of my sketchbook as a little welcome place for my book. And speaking of painting things that you love, I present to you my amazing model and inspiration for the illustration I decided to do on the inside cover. I always encourage drawing from life and taking your own photos, especially for references, so I just want to show you guys this amazing photo shoot we had. I had this idea of having her kind of sitting on the sketchbooks and I was literally left speechless after taking those photos and was immediately inspired to begin drawing. I love working in my sketchbook because I'm able to record memories and moments, places or things that have sparked my attention. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that my cat Matilda is my amazing studio buddy and I thought it would be really great to have her on the inside cover, gracefully positioned on some books. And what made it even more special is that I was able to take my own references and in the end, this is a topic that I personally feel strongly for and I really have so much love for her. And I truly believe that when you pick topics that you love, it communicates in the finished piece. And I think that applies to all artworks. Choosing topics and themes that you are passionate about and you find exciting will always inspire you to create. This is also great to keep in mind because then you will create art that is personal and special to you. So I'm just starting off with a sketch for both of these spreads in the inside cover. On the left, I wanted to have a painting of Matilda, so I quickly sketched her out. And on the right, I really wanted to play around with my love for typography. When I was much younger, I loved drawing out bubble letters of my name. So I wanted to revisit my love for actually creating letter work and decided to design a welcoming title into my sketchbook. And I went with a Victorian sort of vintage theme. And as I'm sketching, I'm going to bring to your attention that it's really just thinking about what you love and what works best for you. Tap into your interests, tap into what inspires you, just have fun with it and make your creation. These are topics and themes that I am personally drawn to. Everyone has something that they love and something that they're constantly thinking about. So seeking inside yourself and in your heart, there are endless topics and ideas that are waiting to be brought to life and I always encourage you to do what you love. For my inside of my sketchbook, I decided to begin with a sketch just so I have a nice placement. I was really happy with the way that the drawing was coming out. I wanted it to feel as if you were being introduced to my world of art, and as I was completing the finishing touches to the sketch, I was super stoked to begin painting. But before we do that, I'd like to say a quick word about today's sponsors. I've been running my website with Squarespace for the past few years, and I can't express enough how much I love their online presentation 
I love how I'm able to run both my shop as well as my portfolio gallery. I was able to set everything up myself and whenever launching a new print or artwork, it's so easy to upload your images. You can simply drag and drop and with the help of their amazing templates, everything is literally laid out for you and looking seamlessly incredible. When I was first setting up my site, I did so much research based on their templates and I absolutely love that I could actually preview what I was uploading and it made it super easy to just see everything in front of me to decide which template that I wanted to go with. And seeing all your work uploaded in a gallery portfolio made it that much better. You can try Squarespace out today by going to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash jesscarp to receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And now that our sketches are complete, it's time to begin painting. actually been a rainy few days by here and I thought it was the perfect cozy time to actually spend in my sketchbook and just turning on some favorite music and hearing the rain was just so peaceful and I definitely think it added to the mood of the piece. Whenever I'm starting off my paintings, whether it's with watercolor, gouache, acrylic, and oil, I always love to start off with a tonal color and basically like a ground which creates a beautiful base to my painting. This was the first time I was trying out this paper and I was so impressed with the amount of water it was holding. I literally fell in love with the quality and I definitely saw a huge difference. I even noticed that the watercolors were appearing brighter and as I was building up the layers, they were getting super saturated and I was really happy with how it was sitting on the paper. So with this piece, I really took my time because I was just enjoying the moment and creating in a beautiful little zone out session that I like to have. When it comes to my sketchbook, I really love creating in my own little environment and I realized that it has become my meditation and sort of like my little escape. I'm also very goal oriented. So as I'm starting the sketchbook, I was already thinking of things that I want to focus on and things that I wanted to include. I've really been missing painting from life and drawing from observation, so I think that I will be gearing towards painting from life more, taking my watercolors and gouache on the go, and showing you guys the process. So let me know if that's a video and something that you guys would want to see. When I was painting Matilda, I really wanted to focus on capturing her expression. She has these beautiful green eyes, and in the picture that I took of her, she looks super majestic. So I wanted to make sure I was doing the best that I can to make sure that it reads as I'm finishing the painting. And I have to say, this was so much fun to paint. And I truly believe that since I picked a topic that was personal to me, I wasn't facing any sort of fear or nervous feeling before starting the sketchbook. I was actually feeling the excitement and I almost couldn't wait to begin. When it comes to that first page and that blank start, it's almost like you can't help but think of something that's going to go wrong, but it's all about switching your mind and perspective into the positive. Think of your first page as a beautiful fresh start, as if you wake up in the morning and you have another chance to do something new and different. And speaking of new, I was really interested to see how I can create the letter work and experiment with different line work, and this is something that's been on my mind for quite some time now. So if there's something that you've been wanting to try, if it's been on your mind, why not just begin in your sketchbook?
for the right side of the inside cover. I was really inspired by the Victorian vintage fonts and I thought it would be cool to incorporate the date of when I started. I always like to keep track and here's just exactly how Matilda likes to sit on my lap while I'm painting. For the colors of the letters, I decided to do a limited color palette. Of course, what else is new? But this time I wanted to experiment with browns and deep blues and greens. So that's what I chose to do for the letters. And yeah, I was just focusing on things that have been on my mind and things that I wanted to try. Every day is a journey for us artists. And the best way to learn and grow is to try out a bunch of new different things. When it comes to watercolor painting, I usually set up my palette in little pans, but I'm actually in the process of making a new one, and I'd love to share my color choices with you guys, so again, let me know in the comments below if that's something that you are interested in. And sometimes I really enjoy putting out some fresh paint, and I love using little porcelain plates and mixing the colors on there. It's really just personal preference on what I'm feeling that day, but both work great for me, and especially when I'm on the go, the palettes are excellent. So as we're painting, we always have some ideas that begin to come into our head. At least for me, when I begin, uh, different things lead to one another and then I'm able to keep creating until I'm able to call the creation done. This was my first time using gold ever in an artwork and I'm super happy I did because I felt like it did a beautiful little touch to the piece. I hope this inspires you to try something new that you haven't done in your sketchbook. I promise you that you can surprise yourself on what you can create. Alright everyone, here is the finished inside cover of my sketchbook. I really think this has to be my favorite one yet. I just love the overall mood and I'm super happy with the quality of the paper. There is absolutely no sign of water or bending on the back. I can't wait to fill up the sketchbook with memories and things that inspire me to create as well as new discoveries. Thank you so much for joining me on this cozy rainy day. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope this inspires you to create something that is personal and special to you. Be sure to leave a comment below as well as a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on new paintings that I create in the sketchbook. Stay creative and don't forget to do it all with love. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!